Hello people welcome back to my channel my name is Pratik and in today's video I am going to show you full setup of Vivo T1 5G now I I was using this device from couple of days now so I thought let's make a complete setup video so if uh, anyone is buying Vivo T1 5G you can watch out this setup video and you will be able to know how to set up your Vivo T1 5G completely from start to end now we'll not waste any time and without wasting any time well start the video so when you turn on the device, this is the kind of screen you will be able to see on your mobile screen. So this is the interface you will be able to see. So yeah, the first page is hello. And on this page, you have to select English and English means you have to select language. So you have to tap on English and you can select any language which you want. And yeah, so I'm going to uh, select English only and in auxiliary settings for reading. If you tap on auxiliary settings, you will get an option of font size, magnification, select to speak, talk back. So these are the features you can select. So in font size, obviously you will be able to select the font size. So we are not going to look at uh, any of that settings because that is not more important. So yeah, after selecting language, you have to click on start option, which is at the bottom. On the next page, uh, we have to select location. So my current location is India. So maybe you are from out of India, then you have to select your current location. And there are multiple options over here and from all those options you can select your location and you have to click on next so after that we are on the next page and the next page is about agreement so you can read the agreement it's user agreement and yeah after reading the agreement you have to tap on i agree to user agreement this option when you select it then we can click on next option so yeah we'll do that now the next option is privacy terms so yes basically these are terms and conditions so if you want to read you can read it uh, but i will yes just click on i have read terms and condition i will click on next again on the next page they now this is again a privacy term so e-warranty card privacy term so yeah too much of terms and conditions so once again i have read and agree about privacy conditions and next option after that send usage diagnostic information so this is regarding like if you're facing any problem in terms of uh, software or something any problem in your device so that particular problem you can send information regarding that to the company and they will try to improve this problem in future so it's all about that but it is not compulsory to uh, activate this one so i'll only click on next so if you want to do that you can click on uh, the toggle over there and you will be able to uh, send information to the company if you face any problem now the next option over here is connect wi-fi so you can skip this part uh, but i'm going to show you how you can set up wi-fi as well as how you can add an account in the device while uh, starting the device for the first time so you have to select the wi-fi network if you don't have any wi-fi network or if you want to skip that part you will definitely get an option of there okay I'll, I'll show you set up offline you do have an option of setup online so it is not necessary but just for information i'm showing you so after connecting to the wi-fi i'll show you further procedures once you have uh, connected to the wi-fi uh, you will get an option of getting your phone ready so it will take few minutes uh, depending on your Wi-Fi speed so I have to wait for now so as we are waiting uh, to get this completed I have already done an unboxing and first impression of this device on my channel so if you want to watch that video you will get that link in i button or in description below so yeah please uh, do check out my video on Vivo T1 5G I think you will get an idea if you're planning to buy a budget phone over there so yeah it's still loading so we have to wait yeah it's done now so yeah the next option is copy apps and data now this is for uh, android users like uh, my previous phone was android now i'm switching to the new phone uh, so if i want every each and every application which i was using in this new device so what i'll do is i'll click on next option over here and after selecting next option use your old device so i want to connect uh, i have to connect this device to my old device and then i will be able to uh, you know download all the same applications in this new device but i'm not going to do that because i want my new device to be completely new so you can do that uh, it's just for a reference just want to show you that how you can do it so yeah can't use old device is the option you can select and yeah okay so the pop-up message was somewhere around like yes i don't want to add all the applications in new device so it's nothing much so i hope you are getting what i'm trying to explain over here how you can set up all the things still yeah we are on the next page now uh, that's what i'm was going to say okay so i have to enter email id now so this is all the google details which you have to enter 
so on this page you can see email or phone so you have to enter your email id password and then you can link your google account to this device so i'll quickly enter my email id and i'll guide you with further procedures after entering email id i have to enter password and i can move forward with the procedures done with the password click on next now the next step is two step verification now this is google verification as i have entered my same email id which uh, is already entered on my previous device so the notification will be sent to my old device and there i have to accept whether i have to you know uh, give permission uh, to log in with the same email id in this device or not so i'll show you quickly so this is the kind of permission you will be able to see on your previous device so here you get two option no don't allow and yes it's me so if i tap on yes it's me uh, you can notice the difference over here so as soon as i tap on yes it's me it will start giving permission over here so yeah it's done so permission is been granted now we are on the next page and here you can read the agreement if you want and you can click on i agree getting account info is the next page so google is getting all my information regarding my account over here so it might take a few minutes not much so yeah it's been done okay so restore data from an old device so there are two data or uh, two devices which are connected vivo uh, v2141 which is the same device and the other one is realme nazo 30 pro so that is my older device so if you want to restore you can select the device over here but if you want your new phone to be completely new you will have an option of don't restore so i will going i'm going to click on don't restore because i don't want all my old application in this device so the next page is google services so over here you will get multiple options so first option is backup to google drive so whichever file is present in this device if you want to do uh, if you want to keep a backup of that on google drive you can keep this on currently it is on but i don't want to keep any backup so i'm going to turn it off the next permission is about location if you want to provide location you you can grant the permission but i don't like giving my location access or something so i am turning it off and the next option is send usage and diagnostic data so as i told at the start of the video if uh, and if you face any problem regarding your device or something uh, the data will be sent to google over there and they will try to improve so yeah not going to do that for now after uh, reading each and everything selecting each and everything all you have to do is you have to click on accept at the bottom okay so the next step is uh, set unlock method so you can either skip this procedure or if you want to uh, lock your phone with screen lock fingerprint or face lock so you will be able to select options over here so if you want it you can do it but i'm not going to set any lock uh, because i can do it later in settings so there is an option of skip at the top so you can click on skip but if you want to set lock you can definitely choose from the given options over there so the next option is continue setup so there are still few things to uh, you know uh, in the setup so if you want to continue you can click on continue but if you want to leave the setup till here then you will have the second option which is leave and get reminder so if i select leave and get reminder the device will start completely now and for the rest of the setup there will be a notification over there so i find that annoying so i am going to continue so yeah i am going to continue after selecting continue option we are on the next page and on this page you have option of uh, activate you have to activate google assistant so if you want you can just say hey google over here and the google assistant will recognize your voice and it will keep in mind uh, and whenever you say hey google it will automatically turned on so let's try it i click on i agree okay you have to read each and everything and you have to click on agree that's it so the next thing is anything else so you have first option over here is add another email account so in that option you will get multiple options over here so if you have another google email id you can select it if you have outlook hotmail or some other yahoo email id you can select that option and you can uh, go further but i'm not going to add i'm just going to show you so i'm going back again if you want to change font size you have the second option of changing font size so as you can see you can increase the font size over here but i'm not going to do that so the last option is review additional application so all this application will be downloaded uh, via wifi so if you want you can keep all this application from vivo now here you can see you get option from vivo moz so i don't want this application so yeah i'm not going to select it and i'm going to do okay so after doing everything you have to click on done for now now again 
services from vivo permission for system application no smart upgrade i don't want it you have to tap on okay automatically download upgrade packages over wi-fi no i'm not interested i will do it manually personalized recommendation no thank you if you want to keep it on you will you can keep it on nano music player no thank you so you can turn those toggle on or off as per your requirement and after doing each and everything you have to click on next now on the last page you have an option of select system navigation so uh, you have this toggle at the bottom in android system either you can uh, select via particular icon or else you can just you know uh, swipe back via gesture so you have that option uh, three button navigation as well as gesture navigation so i'm okay with button i'm not that good with gestures or i don't like gestures so i'll keep it as it is three button navigation click on next so yeah last page fun touch os congratulations your phone is ready i'll click on use now because i have already done this setup to use only so yeah you have to tap on use now and your phone is ready uh, we'll wait till it show all the applications so yeah now you can see on the screen the phone is ready now if you want to do any changes if you want to change your email id if you want to activate you know screen lock fingerprint sensor or face lock you can do uh, that by going in settings so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative if you think this video was informative you can hit that like button and also the red subscribe button over there so subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you have any question write down in comment section below and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching